What's up, guys? Um, I am uh, here now, and I'm officially making uh, my final thoughts here on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Um, I apologize for the slow updates. As you guys know, I'm a full-time teacher now, and so it's just been, uh, you know, that's obviously got to be my main focus, and just doing this on the side is something I've really enjoyed. So, um, lots of exciting things to come, but let's talk about it, man. Lots to talk about. I'm not going to make this super long. There is a lot to talk about, but I think the way that we put it, um, can be very summarized in a, in a short way. So we obviously start, um, we know Makarov based on the last game in Modern Warfare 2 is our villain. And we pretty much spend the whole time on his tail. Uh, we can never really seem to get a good lead, and we seem like we're, you know, pretty much just chasing a ghost the whole time. Um, he always seems to kind of be that one step ahead of the Task Force 141. Um, at the same time, man, Task Force 141, they always handle their business, you know. They always stick to that fight and, and keep on the on the grind, so much, uh, much respect for that. Um, you know, obviously our... Big part, our, our big points come with um, when they find out that the hostage taken uh, was General Shepard. We also know that Graves is alive. And throughout the whole time, you know, the enemy of the enemy is my friend. We're forced to work with our enemies um, who we have bad blood with. But we have a greater common threat in Makarov. And, and, and so working together was really the only option. So... That forced us to work with Graves and Shepard, and in return, Task Force 141 wanted Shepard to own up to everything. And when it came down to it, we obviously saw that Graves and Shepard, they kind of go against their word, and, and not only against the, the Task Force, but against each other. So, um, you know, so kind of a, a hearsay, who said what type deal, right? Um, then we move on to... The very sad part, the sad part that, you know, that just sucks and it just tore you apart. Um, and that's the, the death of Soap. Um, we see in the end that, you know, Makarov shoots him. And then we, uh, you know, go to uh, Laswell and she's updating the, the file report. Um, and, you know, Makarov, he gets away. He didn't actually end up in the custody of task force 141 and he's on uh his, his location is unknown they don't know where he ended up right um so cut to you know we see the uh remaining task force 141 members of uh, captain price ghost and gaz honoring soap right they they pour they pour his ashes out over the cliff and they let him know that the fight will go on, which I think is cool because, you know, you know damn well they're going to get their revenge, man. That's who they are. They stick up for their boys. So really cool there. Um, they honored him. And then, of course, the ending after credit scene, right? We have um, General Shepard come into his office and appear out of the darkness, appearing out of the darkness as he turns the light on is Price which I think is, you know, just the way they did this whole scene was awesome. You know, he says, uh, you know, I'm not going to beg for my life. And he said, you know, it's, you're not going to, it wouldn't, wouldn't do you any good. Just full savage mode by the captain. And um, obviously he uh, murders Shepard. Um, and Laswell uh, was the one who let him in. Um, so uh, just a really savage moment from, from uh, the captain there. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens, you know, are they, are they gonna, um, you know, does the task force one for one know about this? I mean, that's a question we don't know as of yet. Um, you know, obviously it sounds like Laswell knows, um, you know, they probably would be on board with it. Um, you know, does it get out? Does it leak somehow? We don't know. Um, so just some things to think about. I mean, obviously no problem with it captain went full savage mode so you know i'm not mad at it at all um but just what's to come of it we don't know yet right um and that's how it ends um so you know the big thing is you know the questions to be answered 
Um, you know, where is Makarov? How are they going to get him? Um, you know, I found it interesting that we didn't see Elsa Nombre at all. And obviously, again, the whole main villain is Makarov. But I found it interesting that we did not see her at all. Um, you know, I thought that they would have incorporated her somehow. So, you know, it could be a situation where, like the last one, the enemy of the enemy is my friend. They work together. You don't know. Obviously, bad blood between them. But, you know, it, we saw her at the end of 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 modern warfare 2 in 2023 so it just depends we don't know if you know they're just gonna be done with her or what but i thought it was interesting that we didn't see her so maybe she comes back in a uh, next game even um so we don't know where makarov is um shepherd killed uh or i'm sorry captain the captain killed shepherd um obviously graves is somewhere still in the picture we don't know where he's at so a lot of a lot of questions which i think is cool um, and the big one I also think is, um, Farah, you know, Farah is pretty, very much on that work with your enemies if you have to, to get a common goal done. And, you know, who's going to, who, who knows how she's going to feel about what Captain did, um, murdering Shepard. So, uh, again, I think it's a full savage mode, love it, but it, it's, there's a lot of questions to be answered. I think that, that are surrounding the captain. So, you never know what's going to happen. That's the big thing. But Makarov's still on the loose. Task Force 141. They've got a vendetta for their uh, for their guy Soap um, because of his death. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to a, uh, you know, hopefully in the future, a Modern, War, Modern Warfare 4. Uh, I don't know that they've leaked anything about that yet. From what I understand, they haven't. They just came out with Black Ops 6. Now, I never got into the Black Ops 6 series or storyline. Um, but I probably will be playing that at some point just because I've heard it's really, really good. And some of the missions are really, really good, too. So and at least, you know, from what I've seen, you know, look good. So we'll probably end up playing that. Um, but, you know, the main story is Task Force 141 and Modern Warfare. And, um, you know, definitely look for something in the future. Any updates, I'll um, definitely do a video or a post or something. So looking forward to it, man. Lots of questions to answer. What a great story. In my opinion, what a great game. Again, you know, everyone has their own opinions. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Um, but I, I, I personally liked it. Now, I don't like necessarily the um, those missions where you they give you the free roam and like the one where you had to be in that like area and you had to defuse the three bombs. That was so tough because you had to do it so like you got to be good at the game. And I wouldn't say I'm a really good Call of Duty player. I think I've gotten better, especially since I played Call of Duty Ghosts. But um you know, just, just really, those are tough missions, man. And I, I don't, and I only play on normal. So that said, man, what a great game. Lots of questions to uncover. Hopefully we see something in the future that, um, gives us a new game and a new story. Um, that'd be awesome. So definitely expect that on the channel if, and when it comes. And, um, that said, man, lots of more stuff to come. Um, lots of games I still want to play. Um, coming up, you know, we got something very special planned, actually recording that today. Um, and I'm really excited about that. You'll see that, um, coming up, um, currently working on the Until Dawn remake. Uh, so we'll get that going as well. So plenty of stuff to cover, plenty of stuff to do. Definitely expect, uh, you know, uh, the story of Modern Warfare 4 to continue on the channel if a game's given to us. So that said, man, I think that covers all our bases, um, and uh, just wanted to kind of talk about it and, and um, you know, uh, uncover um, all the events that we saw, which I think we did. So that said, man, I just appreciate everybody watching. Um, you guys know the deal, man. Uh, I just appreciate it. And uh, if you're liking this, man, I just I appreciate you watching. And um, let me know your thoughts below. I'm, I'm curious to read them. I'm, I'm always going to, uh, you know, respond to people. So um, that said, man, I just appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much. And have a good one. You know the deal, guys. Always. I forgot to say it. You know, I got to say it. Stay classy. I know you will. I know I will, too. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. We'll see you later.